me welcome back to DBO Ziggy Marley. Yeah. Hey, Ziggy. We are so honored to have you here today, Ziggy. Congratulations on One Love. I have watched it twice. It has changed a part of me as a person. So you helped produce the film all about your iconic dad. Why was it finally time for a movie about him? Yeah, I mean, when we think about that question, I don't think we, I don't think it was up to us. Like, I mean, we did it, but we didn't calculate it mm -hmm. and say, oh, now it's time because of a certain reason. Um, we just felt, you know, I like to put it, I said, like the spirit movie, when you feel your intuition or your consciousness or something inside of you telling you something, you give it a chance. And that's what, that's what this was like for the family. We felt something and we, get, and we took a chance on it and it came true, you know? It's incredible. Now, One Love was based on your father's life, specifically between the years of 1976 and 1978. So why focus yeah. on that period of time? Yeah, no, well, I mean, it's, there's some funny reason, but some deeper reason. For me, like my first inkling was I want to watch a movie that's like have some action, have some adventure, have something going in. So I was like, this period of time was the most like crazy time. Like there's action, there's violence, there's love, there's like change. It's such a crazy time for a person. And, and then the deeper thing is that what he went through during this time period is what kind of shaped his, his mindset. It changed his mindset that he became this person that his life wasn't for him anymore. So this was a period of time that he kind of realized that my life is not for me. If my life is for me, I don't want it. This is a time period where Bob Marley became that person. And so this is who Bob is, you know, this is a time period that made him who he is. Oh, one of my all time favorites. I don't have to tell you that I told you last time, but you obviously had memories of your father growing up and this movie, I'm sure resurrected some old memories. Do you have one specific memory of your dad that sticks out? Well, it's impossible to have one because I mean, when you look back now, it was such a short time period of time, you know, I was what, 12? going on to 13, so all the memories really, you know, yeah. going to the country, driving to, the, to his hometown, you know, playing soccer, um, being around the music, just everything kind of become one, one memory, basically. Mm -hmm. You know yeah. what I mean? I said, yeah. Yeah, that's a hard question. What's your favorite Bob Marley memory? Yeah, that's right. impossible, that's impossible. <laughs> but do you remember the last thing that your dad did say to you? Do you remember that? Yeah, yeah, him say, on your way up, take me up. On your way down, don't let me down. Oh, oh, man. oh my God. That's beautiful. Wow. I needed that today. Yeah, yeah. We, we, all did. That today. yeah. we all did. All right, mm -hmm. sir, you honor your father's legacy through your music, and I wanted to know what's something special that fans can look forward to during your Circle of Peace tour? Yeah, well, the Circle of Peace tour coming up now um, is more than a show. It's, it's a, it's a, it's a, um, I, I call it a campaign or a, a session for motivate. Mm. I'm, I'm like, I'm very particular about this, this, this tour because I want it to mean something. Um, that's why it's called the Circle of Peace Tour. I want it to be more than just coming to hear the songs. You know, this is a movement. We're trying to build more, more, more um, energy in the movement of peace and love for humanity. And so. It's a, yeah, it's a time for us to um, invigorate ourselves with the energy to go out into the world and bring more peace and love to the community and the society. So this is what I am on. That, that's the program, you know? So that's how I look at this tour. Um, and so people can expect to um, feel that invigoration, feel that let's get enthusiastic about peace and love some more, you know? Mm -hmm. I love that. That is beautiful and so needed. Uh, okay, when you were here last, you shared that you became a dog father to Romeo. We remember Romeo. <laughs> <laughs> Romeo. Yeah. Now, Ziggy, you do have a new line of dog accessories. So yeah. tell us about that. And does Romeo go on tour with you? Yeah, well, um, yeah, it's like, it's Romeo's uh, accessory, it's not even mine, you know? So. <laughs> <laughs> he's, wor he's working very hard. <laughs> I love it. I love it so oh, much. Man. Okay, so thank you so much for joining us, Ziggy. DBL Nation, check yes. out shop.ziggymarley.com for more apothecary products. I'm on board. I know you love, I knew you would love Good that pun. pun. Yep. Exactly. Also, for upcoming Circle of Peace tour dates, including July 5th, 15th at the Gerald R. Ford Amphitheater in Vail. And July 27th in Denver at Fiddler's Green. Oh, Visit wow. ZiggyMarley.com for tickets. So cool. Congratulations. Great to see you. We'll be right Thank back. You guys. Thank, Thank you. you. We'll see you there yeah. for sure. Yes. Yeah.